The healthcare industry spent $4.7 billion over the past decade lobbying our government. And they've already started running ads in the 2020 Democratic primary as well. Let's not kid ourselves. Every Democratic plan for expanding health care, whether it's big or small, is going to be drowned in money to make sure that nothing ever happens. Any candidate who believes that modest reforms will avoid the wrath of the industry is not paying attention. Here are the numbers on what's happening now. A family of four will spend an average of $12,378 on premiums and out-of-pocket costs this year. 37 million Americans didn't fill a prescription last year because of costs that were out of reach. Millions of Americans who have health insurance are one bad diagnosis away from going broke. Insurance and drug companies are spending billions of dollars to prop up a morally corrupt system. I have a plan to do something about it, and it starts on the day I take office. As president, I'll reverse Donald Trump's efforts to sabotage Obamacare and undo protections for people with pre-existing conditions. First, I'll lower the cost of critical drugs that millions of Americans rely on, like insulin and breakthrough treatments for deadly diseases. And then, in my first 100 days, I'll drop the Medicare age to 50 and let every person in America join a Medicare for All option for little or no cost. I'll crack down on Washington corruption that lets insurance and drug companies block real change. These actions will bring us a big step closer to Medicare for All. By the end of my third year, we'll vote to transition everyone to Medicare for All. At this point, millions of Americans will have already experienced the full benefits of Medicare for All. They'll be able to compare the new system against the corrupt and wasteful system that exists today. And the choice will be clearer than ever. Medicare for All is cheaper and it provides better care. Insurance companies, Big Pharma and Republicans will fight any plan to improve health care. Our nominee needs to know the fight is coming and our nominee needs to be ready to fight back. So yes, I understand that making it all the way to Medicare for All will not be easy, but I'll fight my heart out at each step of the process to build on Obamacare, to get to Medicare for All, for one simple reason. I spent a lifetime learning from working families who go broke, and a huge reason is healthcare costs. Families should not go bankrupt because of a bad diagnosis. And when I'm president of the United States, I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that never happens to another person again.